Hey, baby girl. Some farmers had found this tiny little art for cub. They searched around for two or three nights with no mom in sight. Most people, even here in South Africa, don't know what an art wolf is. You seldom see them. They are so shy. They gave us a call and asked us for some help and ended up raising her. She was really underweight and, and dehydrated. We just had to get her through the first couple of days, just getting her to eat. Mabel, come. For the first couple of months, she lived in my house. Because I am mom, she pretty much got used to me quite quickly. Mabel, come yeah, Mabel. They're related to hyenas, but unlike hyenas, they only eat termites and those sort of things. When I thought it was time to start trying her on some solids, she took to the crickets straight away. It took her a while to get used to the worms. We did take her out into the field a couple of times just for her to sniff around, find bugs. Just to let her be an artful for a bit. Getting her used to different smells, different sounds. A bit of exposure for the next step. So this is Maple moving on to her next step of her release. She'll be put into a soft release enclosure. Hey Mapes. I moved her into an outdoor enclosure. I would still go out at night to feed her a bottle. First thing in the morning before I went off to work, um, would go and give her milk. I eventually left her enclosure open so that she could come and go as she pleased. She would come home every morning and she had made a burrow inside her enclosure. She does know that if she needs to come back, she can, but she basically is a free art forth now. I'm pretty sure she was turning around to say thank you. When I look at that, I see gratitude. The end goal is always setting them free. As much as I miss her, and it's this empty space where she once was, it's so rewarding.